I completely messed it up. So today, yeah, I'm just going to be working on a couple of embroidered sweatshirts. I'm going to back up here a little bit so you can see how I hoop it. This really quickly shows you how I hoop it. I'm not sure if you guys, I mean, do you want me to do a tutorial? I think there might be a lot of videos out there showing you how to hoop a sweatshirt. So I just kind of quickly are showing you right here. But leave me a description in the comments, or I'm sorry, leave me a comment if you want more information and more details on how I hoop it. So today's video, I haven't shot a video in a long time. I just decided I'm just going to be doing a compilation. Um, actually, this sweatshirt that I'm wearing right here, I made to, because me and my daughter went to New York. So I kind of just do mostly... Uh, my favorite is embroidering on sweatshirts and I also do embroidery for a lot of small businesses. And I do have a website now shop simply delilah.com if you want to go there and order anything that you'd like but this channel is going to be just for lots of inspiration for embroiderers and then also if you want to purchase something it kind of shows you the behind the scenes of how your sweatshirt is made Here's the thing. So this sweatshirt that I just started on, I I got to show you, I don't know why uh, whenever I start filming things, I start making mistakes and uh, yeah, I'm smiling, but let me show you what just happened. Okay. Sorry. I have so much stuff like flying around, but my customer, she, we first designed it to say um, introvert, but willing to talk about real estate and horses. Well, then she said, well, can you change it to say, but we'll talk about real estate and horses. Horses. So I said, okay. And so I edited it in my Imbrilliant software, but I must have not proofread it because I put introvert, but will to talk about. And so I completely messed it up. I don't think this is something that I could have fixed because I would have had to put, I would have had you unstitch the two, edited the file, you know, without unhooping this and sticking it back in there. I don't know if that would have worked. So I just immediately, I got discouraged, stopped the machine and took it out of here. And then I have to start over. So I edited it again. This one is just a loss. This will actually be, um, another example sample sweatshirt but I'm going to uh, it's hard for me to talk when the machine is going so I'm going to start the machine and I'm just going to keep working and I'll just stop and talk to you guys periodically Okay, so I'm still kind of beating myself up about that mistake. Even I can see right here in this video, it says, but will to talk about real estate and horses. So it's like, I saw that, but it just didn't register in my head. And, but you gotta move on, right? And so this one will be just perfect. And if you also have an embroidery business, you, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know. I mean, do you have a count? Do you keep track how many sweatshirts you've actually messed up on? I don't keep a count. I try to forget about it. Even if I had to guess, I, I don't know. I'm not even going to guess. 
So I'll just quickly change the subject and I want to talk about these mighty hoops. This is what I'm using. It's a magnetic hoop and a lot of you have asked questions if they are worth the money and yes, I believe I use them. They're super convenient, especially if you're hooping sweatshirts, but also if you're hooping bags or, you know, there's a lot of things that I embroider that are difficult to hoop. So these magnetic hoops really are a game changer. Okay, here we done. Here we are. It's done and it's beautiful. And now I just need to take it out of the hoop. I'm looking, let's see, for the spray bottle. Um because I always spray Okay, so these magnetic hoops, they do leave a little bit of a hoop burn, I've noticed but only at the top. So I just spray it with water and just kind of blend it in and that hooping mark will go away. And then I just tear off just the easy parts of the tear away and then, oh, and then I can iron it if it doesn't remove right away. You can reheat it and then it will easily peel away from the sweatshirt. And then I'm just going to cut it. And so there will be a little bit of backing left on the sweatshirt, but... I've even looked at ready-to-wear sweatshirts, and they leave their backing on as well. So here it is, all finished and pretty. I don't know why. Let me fix the frame. Okay, I love how this turned out. This was a custom order. The customer is a real estate agent and she really loves horses. And I also want to share with you this other project that I made. I've been doing lots of embroidery for small businesses. And this one is for a construction company. I think it turned out really beautiful. Okay, next up is Brooklyn, New York. Me and my daughter went to New York, so naturally I had to make these sweatshirts, but it was so hot that we didn't have a chance to wear them in New York, but they were perfect to wear at the airport. So we did pack them up and we had a wonderful time. We went to the Statue of Liberty. We went to the Empire State Building, Central Park, and it was just such a wonderful time to be able to spend with my daughter. This is my oldest daughter. And it was just a quick trip. We did about like three days. So um, it was just fun to make up these. And the font that I used for the sweater is like a called high school varsity font. And you can just uh, search on Etsy for this one. It's just a really pretty font. And this is a selfie of me. Uh, we stayed at Times when Square. When you use your embroidery machine a lot, you always want to make sure that you clean out the bobbin case. This area collects lint from the thread going through. So you're just going to want to take a corner of a piece of paper and push that lint out. So that's my tip for the day. If you miss this step, then your stitches will start looking really okay, messy. Okay, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribed if you haven't already because the next one I'm going to do is all about like Halloween trendy embroidery designs. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.